Sir, you're finished! <laughs> Awfully confident, aren't we? Then please, allow me to show you just how terrible <laughs> true power is. Is that all you've got? <laughs> for you now. This can't be. This is not gonna happen. What, what is he up to? Not good. About one minute, I'm going to explode! <laughs> I'm going down. Then I'm taking you all with me. You and the entire planet! What? what? Did he just say he's going to explode? <laughs> I won't let you! You better... Watch it. <laughs> Hit me and I explode! <laughs> Only 30 seconds left! No! No! What are we gonna do? We gotta do something! There's nothing we can do. We're done for. Just ten seconds left. <laughs> well, I guess this is the only option we've got left. I can't really think of any other way to save the Earth. Uh, Goku, wait. Uh, what are you doing? Later, guys. <laughs> Go on. You did great. I'm 
so proud of you. Dad! Tell your mom something for me. Tell her I'm sorry. Sorry, King Kai! This was the only place I could think of to bring him! It's gone. Goku's energy is gone. Where'd he go? Where's Cell? It's over. You and your dad did it. Good work, Gohan. But... But... My dad! Your dad did what he did with a smile on his face. He was proud of how much you've grown. Come on. Gohan, let's head... Power! It's... Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I hit trunks. You're probably wondering why I'm still alive. Allow me to explain. I have a small mass inside of me. As long as that mass remains intact, my body can continue to regenerate. Once regenerated, I not only regain my perfect form, but my power also increases, not unlike Gohan's. This must be due in part to the Saiyan cells I possess and their impressive ability to increase one's strength and resilience with every near-death experience I have. I was also able to learn Goku's instant transmission, which, I suppose, makes me even more perfect than, well, perfect. You see, Goku thought he beat me, but instead, <laughs> he's only made me stronger. You... you're going to pay for what you did to Trunks! Hmm? You're dead! No! Vegeta! So much for the Prince of Saiyans. You're next, Gohan. Avenge my death! 
running away from me this time! Goodbye, Vegeta. <laughs> this little game ends here. Don't 
Oh, that was incredible, Gohan! You did it! I can't believe it! Cell's gone! We're saved! Well, we don't have any sensu beans, but Dende will fix them up in no time! Let's get him to Dende! All right, let's go! Hey, Vegeta, you need a hand? I don't need your help, understand? You better stay away from me! <laughs> Fine. That's it. Kakarot and his kid are finally out of reach. Damn you, Kakarot! How dare you die on me and in such a pathetic way! I'm... I'm done fighting. <laughs> what the... What are those guys? Mr. Satan! Well, where is Cell? Huh? Uh, uh, Cell? Uh, well, uh, uh, he's... Uh, uh, he's gone. Uh, yeah, uh, I beat him. What? Well, those freaks are just uh, prancing around with their flashy magic tricks. So I told them uh, enough was enough, uh, you know, and uh, I went in there and uh, I showed Cell who's boss. Oh, but where are the others? Uh, they uh, <laughs> thanked me and, uh, and they went home. Incredible! So, so you mean the Earth has been saved from Cell's reign of terror? Well, that's right! <laughs> you heard it here first, folks! Earth! Earth has been saved! And it's all thanks to our hero, Mr. Satan! It's okay. You're at Kami's lookout. It's over. Gohan took care of Perfect Cell. Everything's gonna be all right. Gohan? Yeah. He was unbelievably strong. Even you wouldn't be able to touch him. You owe Krillin your thanks. He risked his life to save you once Cell spit you out. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I... Uh, I couldn't have just left you there. Oh, I think I get it! You like her, don't you, Krillin? You like 18! Don't blurt it out like that! <laughs> so what, little man? You want me to hold your hand or something? Is that what you want? Hey, what's your problem? Is there any way to treat the guy that saved your life? Huh? Calm down, Yamcha. We need to focus. We have to get all the Dragon Balls and use them to revive Trunks and everyone else who was killed. Uh, right. Uh... Why did it get dark all of a sudden? Oh. Uh, what is that? Uh, please bring back all the people who were killed by Cell! Hmm. <laughs> 
consider it done. Before. State another wish. Well, there you go. He can't do it. No. There's got to be a way. We can figure this out. Hey, hey guys. guys. It's me, hey, Goku. Goku. Goku? I'm talking, I'm talking to you from, from Otherworld. Other Listen up. So, I was talking to Bulma earlier, and she mentioned the fact that I've always got all these bad guys coming after me. And when you really think about it, it sucks how right she is. All that's to say, I think it's probably better for the Earth if I just stay here. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to make a heroic sacrifice or anything. I'm actually getting some special treatment here because I saved the Earth so many times. Normally, when you die, you turn into a spirit. But I'm getting to keep my body. Plus, I've got plenty of super strong people from the past to keep me entertained. Which, I'm not gonna lie, is cool. That doesn't mean I don't feel marginally bad for Chi-Chi and Gohan. But you guys don't need to bring me back. Gohan's already way stronger than me now anyway. So you'll be fine. Uh, Dad! That's not true. Gotta go. Bye. Okay, and make sure to look me up or whatever when you die. Bye bye. Uh, you know, if you ask me, he seemed awfully happy and upbeat for a dead guy. I grow tired of waiting. State your second wish. Do you not have a wish? Uh, that's right! So what should we do? Are we going to wish for something? Uh, Shinron! Can you make Android 17 and 18 human again? That cannot do. The androids are far beyond the reach of my power. Uh, well, I guess it was kind of a long shot. Why Android 17? I thought he was dead. No. He was just brought back with the others killed by Cell, so he's alive now. Well... Then can you at least remove the explosive devices that they have implanted in their bodies? That I can do. There. The devices have been removed from their bodies. Farewell. Why would you wish for something like that? Well, I felt bad for them, you know? I mean, who wants a bomb inside their body? But why remove the device from Seventeen's body, too? Well, uh, I thought Seventeen and Eighteen might be good for each other. I don't think I'm ever going to understand it. This whole love thing. You idiot! Uh -huh. Seventeen and I are brother and sister. I told you to leave me alone. And don't think I'm going to thank you for removing the bomb. Ever. 
Later. Hey, she said later. Maybe that means she wants to see you again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I'd be a lot happier, uh, I guess, if it weren't for the fact that Goku's not here. Well, I think I'm going to head back. Chaozu's probably worried about me. Right. I'm gonna get going, too. So, Trunks, when are you heading back to the future? I think I'll stay one more night and get some rest before leaving tomorrow. All right. We'll see you off tomorrow, then. Mr. Piccolo, are you gonna stay here now? Yeah, that's the plan. Would it be okay if I visited you every now and then? Of course. Bye, Mr. Popo. Bye, Dende. Stop by whenever you want. Father? Oh, yeah. Trust me. He was pretty upset when you were killed. He flipped out and went all berserk on Cell. Wow. My father? He did that? I'm off. Goodbye, Trunks. Good luck in your future. Go on. Thanks. I'll do my best. You guys take care of yourselves. Have a safe trip back. that was seven years ago. I can't help but wonder what everyone's up to. Well, look at that! Gohan's as tall as me now. I'd love to go a few rounds with everyone again. Stay tuned for the next episode of Dragon Ball Z! Galactic Showdown with the mighty Majin Buu! You really don't want to miss it, trust me. How long do you intend to keep that look? Since Dad died, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Trust me, Mom, I have my reasons. Well, suit yourself. But for the record, I much prefer your normal look to this gaudy Super Saiyan business. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, you get bigger with each passing day. And you look more like your father, too. Y you think so? Your fashion choices are yours to make, provided you keep up with your studies. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I'm 
not sure where to start. Maybe Piccolo can give me some good advice. Hey! Hello? Thank you. 